Starting with Quicken 2015, users' data files are now stored in the hidden library folder. And where exactly within that folder depends on if you got the Mac App Store version or if you purchased the retail version. By holding down the command key and clicking on the title bar file name, you can easily see the path of where it is located. And yes, once you know that information, you can certainly go to the Finder and go to the Go menu and hold down the Option key to allow visibility of that library folder, and you can actually navigate to where your Quicken file is located. But personally, I wouldn't even really mess with that. Let's just go back to Quicken here. And if you go up to the File menu, you'll see that you can do a lot of file operations from within the program itself. If you wish to rename the program file name, you can do that right here. You can move the file name to another destination, and as long as it's within your user account, it's perfectly fine. You can move it back to your Documents folder if you like. And you can also use the Save a Backup and Restore a Backup to create you know, backup copies just in case something happens. I admit I wasn't exactly ecstatic when I found out that they were hiding the user data files, but in reality, it really doesn't matter, and I've just gotten used to it, and I just leave it in that hidden location. It works out.